Hello, in this video I want to show you that the readout of your uh, wheel sensors, the tire pressure monitoring sensors, TPMS, can be done cheap and easy. So, let's get started. The reason why you are probably watching this video is because you changed the wheels on your car, then you hit the TPMS reset button after you pump them to the right pressure, but you still see the control sign of a wrong pressure of your tires on your dashboard. To get rid of it in a proper way, you have first to read out the ID of your pressure sensors and then upload those IDs to your car. In this video, I will show you how to do the first step. To do the readout, you need this TVP tunnel. Maybe you already have it in your shelf, if not, it's quite cheap and easy to buy it. You only need to pay a little bit attention to choose the right one. We will get back to this one at the end of this video. You also have to be a bit lucky. The sensor which uh, you have must be supported by the software which I will use in this video. If it's not supported, you are out of luck. But the list of supported device is quite long so most probably your sensor is supported by the software. If your wheels are supported, install the software, get the dongle, plug it in and start the software. I'm starting the readout with argument R88 because this is the type of my wheel sensors. Each wheel reports once in approximately 90 seconds, so the only thing which we have to do now is wait. And the first wheel already appeared. Here you can see the ID of the wheel. This is the thing which you need to know down. If you want to know which wheel is which, ah, second appeared. If you want to see which wheel is which, you can also release a bit of the pressure in the tire in each tire at a time and then do the readout and see which pressure lowered. So now we only have to wait for two more wheels and then our work is done. Third. And this was the last one. So now you have all four IDs of your wheels and you can upload them to your, your car. If your wheel does, did not report, it means that maybe the battery in the wheel is dead or you just got a bad signal, which means you have to come out of the car and just put the antenna quite close to the wheel. At the end, I promised you to show you how to pick the right DVB tunnel, so I'm getting to it now. There is a page on which you have described the ranges of the specific tunnels which are used. The important part is that you have to choose the RTL 2832U unit. There is a plenty out of them and uh, some good tunnel. Uh, the only tunnel which you should avoid is FCI FC 2580, but they are not out there that much. So just uh, check the tunnels which are available. Pick one, for instance, with this Air 120T unit it's quite a good one and you can get started i hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching see you soon